Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. I'm Sharlan and I'm um, coming to you today quite spontaneously. Um, it's the 7th of November and the energies are rabid. The Scorpio new moon has been really tough on people and uh, the energies have been it has a lot to do with everything that's going on it has a lot to do with Jupiter moving to Sagittarius it has a lot to do with Venus being in retrograde it has a lot to do with many different things in one's life and it may be impacting you uh, like Mercury retrograde or it may be impacting you in terms of your self-esteem and you beating yourself up a lot or it may be impacting you in terms of love and I just want to talk a little bit about the love aspect. But before I do that, I want to just mention that the point in your life where you have a lot of difficulties will be exacerbated at this moment. It'll be, it'll, it's taken to the nth potential uh, because this is something that is, it's almost as if the universe is saying, listen, you have to deal with this now. It's time to let go of this and it's time to deal with this and finally, finally, absolutely let go. Are you ready to let go? It's like a test. From the universe it says well I'm not really sure if you want to let go because you're still having these thoughts and these thoughts so I'm gonna make it really hard for you right now and are you actually gonna let go and so how it's manifesting in terms of love is basically that you might have felt that you've gotten over somebody a long time ago and I think I mentioned this in the love forecast I dropped uh, a couple of days ago. But you might have felt that, you know, a relationship was far behind you. It might have been something like a karmic relationship or a twin flame relationship that you finally got grips on. And you know how to deal with it. And you've had a couple of months where you've been feeling really on top of things. And But now this energy has come through so acutely. And you need to figure out a way in which you can deal with this. You need to be able to go down deep and feel what you need it is that you need to feel and it's going to come to the fore and you may not be in touch with this person or you may be in touch with this person this person may be very friendly towards you but you'll be maybe wanting to pull away or you may this person may have ghosted you or may have blocked you uh, or this person may be playing games they may be there or saying that they will be there but then they don't show up or they may promise that they would come by this evening and then they they come by like three hours too late it's going to be those kind of energies that you're dealing with. It's going to be energies. There are others where, you know, your partner may be feeling a little bit passive aggressive and won't be speaking to you, won't be answering your messages. So it's a lot of these type of energies like now. And it's actually hideous. It's oh, it's absolutely awful. And the re reason that I'm reaching out to you right now is because um, I just thought I'd drop you a message about this. Um, so that if you are experiencing any of this, that you're not alone, okay? You're really not alone. This too shall pass. You can be sure of that. So don't worry too much. It's going to be okay. Um, it'll pass in a few days. I think by uh, tomorrow is Thursday. So I think, um, I feel that tomorrow will already be a little bit better. But by next week, we'll be in a completely different space. And I think we will say goodbye to a lot of these things now you may be asking how am i going to say goodbye to this this is still this person is still so much in my heart and they're hurting me how am i just going to get over this well what you'll find is that you have the resources to be able to deal with it better your love is still there you're not going to just miraculously get over this person the love is not just going to disappear but you will find that you are able to control your your reactions better your emotions better you're able to um, manage the situation better. And so that is where we'll be next week. We'll have the empowerment to do so. We'll have the energy to be able to, to do that. But right now, hang tight. This is a rough ride. Um, it's like a roller coaster. It's absolutely awful. And um, as I mentioned in my Monday forecast, those some people may be prone to depression. Others, uh, especially when it comes to unrequited love, you will be having a difficult time right now. It's You'll be feeling these feelings so acutely. You'll be feeling this loneliness. You'll be feeling the urge. I think this is actually the most important part of this in terms of love. Those of you who are struggling with love right now will be feeling the urge to connect with their tribal partner, with their soul partner, with what people talk about being a twin flame recently, uh, but truly the twin flame, not this person that's ignoring you and uh, you needing to run after them and watch 
tons of pick a card readings to figure out how they feel about you because they just are not telling you how they feel about you. So I'm not talking about that. And uh, excuse the shaky camera. I'm just um, recording this um, on my tab on my iPad and I'm holding it in my hand. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to get this out to you and I don't want to spend too much of time with lighting and with, um, as you know, my lighting is not particularly spectacular. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, I just don't want to spend too much of time with this. I just want to put it out there. Um, but what I want to say is that there's a real need right now to be able to connect, uh, to be, to, to, to connect with your other half, so to say, to connect with that that person that mirrors you, that can hold your hand in this lifetime, that can be there, that can truly understand you, that can fulfill that emptiness, that loneliness that you feel, that aloneness that you experience. And this is what is the, the bottom line of this energy for those of you experiencing this in love. Now, just briefly, for those of you not experiencing this in love, uh, this has to do, um, you might be beating yourself up because you told yourself you would do something today and that you didn't do, or you didn't reach goal. You might be extremely hard on yourself. And those of you who are struggling with that, go back and give yourself some love. Give yourself some, you know, give yourself your self-esteem, a good massage. Give yourself the appreciation that you are needing because you can't just keep beating yourself up and expecting to get any better at this yeah you need to actually give yourself a bit of love so that you can improve that you can draw on that encouragement to be able to do better and don't be afraid don't be don't be worried it's not that you can't do it it's just that the energies at the time make it really hard to do certain things those of you who are having difficulties with technology with batteries dying with shooting films and it's just not working out um it is also a really difficult path go with it flow with it don't go against the grain okay don't try to fight it, it you're not going to win all right just go with it you will know when it's time to begin again you will know when the time is right when it becomes easier to do things as it should be and um i think for the last week and a half or so it's not been easy to do a lot of things lots of mercury retrograde feelings also this might have been for some people might be a uh, back to uh, two weeks ago or something like this that you would have begun feeling this way um the other thing is that um if you are a reader okay if you're a psychic reader if you're clairvoyant like i am or you read cards etc your readings right now are going to be like the kind of readings that you have during the eclipse they're not going to have the kind of value that they usually have they're not going to be able to give across the message that they that you as clearly or as potently or as eloquently as you normally are able to because the messages that you're getting are very mixed up right now so just be aware of that and just um yeah i'm not saying don't give readings at this time um it's difficult not to do that if you have appointments etc already booked out but just be aware of this energy and um try to put out an intent so that you can actually cope with it so that's all for me it's tuesday evening um where i am it's the 7th of november and we're talking about this awful Scorpio new moon. Uh, I'm just talking about the difficulties here. I'm not talking about all the good things that are coming up and the new beginnings for those who have done their work and are actually ready to take on this new energy with Jupiter moving to Sagittarius and this new wave of Scorpio energy. Uh, so we are just talking about the difficulties. So don't, you know, dislike me or say something horrible in the comment section down below because I'm just talking about the stuff that's not good. The reason that I'm talking about the stuff that's not good is because I want those of you who are out there not to feel that you're alone in this, okay? And not to feel that it's you. It's not you. It's the energy of the moment, all right? So I'm sending you so much love and many, many blessings to you and much love from Kismet Rising. Okay, bye for now.